よくわかったぜレナ昭和57年のことはよくわかったうんこいつらが白状だったってこともわかったさでもよ佐渡子だって言ったろこいつらはみんな自分の罪に気がついた後悔しただから今度は違うはずだ今度は仲間の苦しみを真に理解して助けてくれるはずなんだ去年いなかった人に言われても信憑性ないねああそうだ俺は去年いなかっただから残念だぜ去年の俺がもしここにいたならばサトシのために絶対に戦ったクソだ嘘じゃねえ俺は木南沢に来てからどれだけ仲間がかけがえのないものかを知っただからそんな仲間たちを救うためならサトコやサトシをいじめるおばがそんなにもうぜえやつならサトシになんかもったいねえこの俺が叩き殺してやったものの1500秒ってな躊躇なんかしねえぞ速攻だ学校の倉庫あたりから金属バットを1本ぶっ殺して即ぶっ殺してた口先だけならどうとでも言えるね人を殺すのにどれだけの思い切りがいるかも知らないくせに知らねえし知る必要もねえな仲間を救う以上の義務がどこにあるってんだケイチ君は全然分かってない人を殺すことがどれだけ汚らわしい行為でどれだけ自らを美化しようとも決して振り払えない汚れであること分かってないそうだな確かに仲間を救うためでも直ちに人殺しってのは短絡的すぎるよなレナの言い分に相反するようで悪いけど悪いことに悪いことで立ち向かうってのは多分うまくいかないようにできていると思うんだ仲間のためなら人殺しだって厭わないその精神だけは立派だと思うだけどな悪いことで得た平穏ってのは絶対に長く続いたりしないんだそれを人は本能的に知ってるから悪いことを嫌うんじゃないかと思うんだ何それケイチ君が何を口走ってるのかよくわかんないよ。She didn't have to tell me that. I was aware I wasn't making any sense. But for some reason, I could easily imagine a world like that. A world in which I saved my precious friend by committing an evil act. The peace I seized by doing that evil deed didn't last long. It got worse. It ended in a way as terrible as the sin I committed. This was a memory that shouldn't exist. I don't know why, but I know for a fact that it happened in that world of possibility. Asma, I'm not sure what I'm saying. I'm not sure what I'm saying. For some weird reason, I couldn't prevent myself from smiling in embarrassment. Even in a situation like this. そうだ。そうだ。そうだ。嘘だ。そんなのは嘘だ。嘘かどうかはお前が一番知ってるんじゃないか。最初から後悔してるんだろ。たとえ誰にも知られることなく死体を隠せたとしたって、一生両手についた
お前の一番の味方なんだ<笑>つまりそれは私も未熟だったってことそうだ仲間たちが日々成長していることを信じられなかったレナも未熟だだがそれを責める気はないぜ俺たちだってレナが一人悩むのを今日まで気づけなかった人は語り合うことでしか胸の内を明かせないだから今日のこの場までは仕方がなかったことかもしれないそういう意味では言いたくはないが今日という日がレナにとって最善の選択の向こうにあったことを認めざるを得ないかもしれない<笑>でも俺たちは今この場になってようやく胸の内を全て語り合ったレナが去年からずっと持っていた不信感も俺たちが持っていた後悔も全部吐き出し合っただから俺たちは今こそようやく本当の本当に今さらだねいつも罪は手遅れになってから気づかされるそうでもねえさ例えば俺は仲間であるレナの今回のこの出来事を理解できる理解できるって人の命を奪うのは許されることじゃないっていう道徳的なことはもちろん理解しているでもそれを理解した上で仲間であるレナがこうするほかなかったことを理解するだから俺はレナを汚らわしいと思わないし恐ろしいとも思わない次に同じようなことがあったら今度はこういう結果にならないように悩み合おうだけどすでに起こってしまったこの出来事を俺は理解する理解ってのはつまり許すということだ俺はレナのこの行為を否定したりしない I said that to everyone this time. I said it to all my friends. So, I got anyway, the police are still on their way. ネメアテだとか、そんな ケイチ。だから、みんなもレナも今日に至るまでそれに気づけず。レナを一人で悩ませた俺を許してくれ。それが今日マネーた俺の罪だ。ケイチさん。この野蛮袋の山を知ったのは俺俺たち全員が秘
ケイチ君の言葉は本当なら嬉しいよでもでもみんなもそうだとは限らないよ A little hand touched mine. It was Rika chan. Rika chan. Lena was kissed. Yogore te nanka i nai. Anata was kissed e kuss i nakata. So ste. Konna ni mo doro da rake ni nari nagara. So na anata wa. Dou ste watashi wa mito mezu ni irare ru no ka. Rika chan's small hand was strong. And she spoke eloquently. Rika Chan usually acts childish, but now she was like a totally different person. She meant every word she was saying. And then another little hand reached out to ours. Satoko. Satoko put her hand over mine in Rika Chan's. She didn't say anything, looking down for a while. Rika Chan urged her to speak.私もリカも両親を失って一人ぼっちですけれど、今日までそれを嘆いたことはありませんでしたよ。皆さんという仲間という家族がいたから。私はこれからも皆さんとレナさんと仲間という名の家族でありたいと思っていますのよ。家族同
上塗りする言葉何も必要ないだからレナにだって言葉はいらないんだただ黙ってこっちへ手を伸ばせばいいんだ<笑>来いレナ夢とか幻とかじゃないましてや出遅れでも何でもないレナにはまだ選べる選択肢が残ってるんだだから選べ間に合う来るんだ俺たちはやり直せるんだレナ slowly reached out and her hand touched ours she didn't hold our hands All she needed to do was to touch her hands to show us her will. Rena chose to live, to share her life with her friends, rather than refuse them for the rest of her life. I took a step closer to her and firmly grabbed her wrist. It was getting dark and some stars had appeared in the sky. We all forgave each other for our sins for the first time. And it was a little embarrassing. But Rena's tears made us all cry. And we just kept crying together. We stood in a circle holding each other by the shoulder and putting our heads together in the middle. We are a family made of friends. We forgave each other. And we're happy together. There's a memory in the back of my mind. But it's not supposed to exist. I tried to save one of my friends in that world. In order to do that, I rejected all of my other friends. I acted recklessly alone. And I brought about the end of the world. The situation we had here is the same as the incident in that faraway world, in the sense that people have been deprived of their lives in order to save one friend of mine. But other than that, it was different. We have Rena. Mion, Satoko, Rika chan, and myself. Nobody was missing. We were going to regain them. We were going to regain those happy and peaceful days. The road going there might be a little rough, but we'll walk it together. We all will. Right. Oh, good, good. So we do make a club activity of burying the bodies. Excellent. Hello, police. Yes, you know that report we made about uh, the, 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 the dismembered body parts and bags in the trash dump? Well, that was a mistake. It was actually chicken bones. Please do not come here. Thank you. Bye. We went to the place in the mountains of Yagochi that Rene had picked for burying the bags. Carrying corpses is a scary thing to do, but it made us united more strongly because of that. Since each part of the corpse is in a separate plastic trash bag, we can tell what's inside each bag by touching it. First, we forced ourselves to laugh whenever we had to touch the bodies because we were scared. But after a while, we got used to it, to the point where we could make jokes about it. Of course, all that was probably a bluff. But we all tried our best. Ah, I think it touched me again. <laughs> so funny. Mian somehow had detailed knowledge of how to hide corpses, and she told me to dig the hole deeper. Rika Chan helped to carry the bags. Satoko used her talent of setting traps to perfectly camouflage the place where we buried the bags. Me? I was in charge of digging the hole. Rena dug it earlier, but I made it a little deeper. After we finished all that, we walked back to the place where we parked our bicycles, and we looked at the place where we buried the bags. It was completely unnoticeable. We'd never be able to find the place again once we left for home. That's how perfect it looked. Mion said it cheerfully, as if we just finished club activities or something. I mean, we did. Club activity dig the hole for the bodies. We had no more bags to carry, 
And we no longer had any burden to carry either. We got on our bicycles, but Rena was still standing there, looking into the distance. Oi, Rena. Are you okay? Uh, you look like you just saw a body or something. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Rena's face looked slightly red. Mian touched Rena's forehead. It actually was a little warm. She had a tough day today. She had to go through so many things. She had to find a place to hide the corpses. She had to dig a hole. We caught her with the bags. We talked about her feelings. And we forgave each other. She must be exhausted after a day like that. Rena. うん、ありがとう。そうするね。レナ。私たちはもう全部許し合ったんだよ。だから自分を責めちゃダメだからね。やっぱりみんなの言う通りだったよ。何がだ？やっぱり私。<笑> 自分を騙せてなんかなかった。どう自分の行為を美化したって、私は心の中で恐ろしいことをしたと怯えていた。みんなに助けてもらって、ここまで来てこんななんだもん。もしみんなと会わずに一人で全てを片付けていたら、私は
and all I could do was to stare blankly into space. I felt frustrated, too. Even though they were my friends, I was caught in the act of abandoning the corpses. But at the same time, I felt relieved that my reliable friends accepted what I did. Those emotions were all mixed up in my heart, and they were equally strong, making it difficult for me to decide what I was feeling. I was losing my sense of balance. It was like the world was warping around me. I heard sounds as if I was in a shower. Everything left me with a feeling of unreality. When those emotions were about to make me lose control, I felt the heat on my wrist. The part where Keiji Kun grabbed me earlier started throbbing. My feelings weren't cooperating with me, but the heat on my wrist calmed them down for me. I don't know how to express what I felt when my friends and I held shoulders together in a circle earlier. But the feeling was the only thing I knew to be real. As soon as I opened the front door, I smelled it. It smelled really good. My father isn't good at cooking, but he likes trying to cook creative dishes. I remember he used to cook something very challenging whenever he was in a good mood. So this smell was a sign that he felt that way. That's why I always like this smell. The reason he's in a good mood is because he found a job. And not just any job. He found a job with a company created by friends from his old workplace. They remembered my father and promised to hire him. He told me that some of his other colleagues from the old company are also working there. It must be very encouraging for him to work with people he knows, because he hasn't worked for a long time. The dinner looked great, in contrast to how it tasted. It was a dinner to celebrate his new life, to show his determination, to regain his bond with his daughter, and to make a clean start. I talked about a lot of things with my father that night. About how I murdered people and my friends. It had been a long time since the last time I talked with him like this. I don't remember when it was, but it reminded me of the days I of the days I was still happy. Which meant that I'd finally returned to that time. My father still believes that Teppi is coming back one day, so he's still very cautious about locking the doors and windows, and he gets scared every time someone rings the doorbell. I told him so many times that they'd never come back, but I couldn't convince him because I couldn't tell him the reason why they wouldn't. He'll eventually realize that he's free. I'm sure it won't take too long. My heart was full of many, many emotions that day. If emotion could actually burst a heart open, it might happen to me. My brain must have been overworked because so many things happened at once. My head was still fuzzy, but I managed to crawl into bed. I felt like the ground was moving. I totally lost my sense of reality. I remember that once... I remember that once... That I once felt like this when I got the flu. I might get a high fever tomorrow. But I don't care. I don't care if I get sick tomorrow. I just wanted to enjoy the fact that I took a step towards the future of my decision. Keiichi Kun told me something like that today. The high fever and dizziness made me feel frustrated for some reason. But whenever I felt frustrated, I felt the heat on my wrist too. I grabbed my wrist with my left hand tightly. It made the frustration go away and it brought me relief. That might also just be like an infection in your wrist, I don't know. Even the dizziness I didn't like just before made me feel like I was in a down-filled futon. I was falling asleep in that down-filled futon, futon on my first night in a new world. This dizziness didn't go away for a few days, but I gradually got used to it. This new world looked like the world I used to live in before. But the sunshine was a little bit brighter, and Keiichi Kun's smile looked a little bit more gentle than before.
We made no more noise than we used to. We spent every day slowly, but in high spirits. Oh, what an idiot I am. I underestimated that dizziness, and I caught a summer cold in June. I wanted to get better as soon as possible. I should have taken a day off from club activities, but I forced myself to play with them every day, and that made it hard for me to get better. I finally learned my lesson recently. I don't need to feel frustrated. There's no limit to happiness in this world. As long as we keep wishing for it, it'll continue forever. I don't need to feel frustrated anymore because tomorrow I will have the happiness I have today. We'll have the Watanagashi Festival next Sunday. Mi-chan tells us that we'll have a lot of fun and that we'll go extra crazy. I really can't wait. And that's it, right? Everything ended happily ever after. No more murders. We already got the murders out of the way. Don't gotta worry about murder this year. Everything is better. I guess. You're crying right now. That's the achievement I just got. Letter from the forestry office. Uh-oh. That could be bad. It's still June, yet the air is filled with the cries of cicadas. How is everyone in Hinamizawa doing? The Watanagashi Festival is coming just around the corner. We staff members from the Forestry Service are going to perform a wood sculpting demonstration at the festival. We'll be happy to lend out our tools and teach you kids how to sculpt wood themselves. It'll be an excellent memorial gift. Also, we would like to inform everyone that we're going to cut down trees in the local hills this summer as part of the number XX Fourth Forest Landscape Management Project. That could be bad. I hope this isn't in the area we just happened to bury some chunks of body in trash bags. This project involves preserving the beauty of the forest by cutting down old trees and planting new ones. The Forestry Service needs volunteers who are interested in helping us cut down the old trees. You can enjoy the beauty of nature under the blue sky while helping out with this preservation activity. The project will begin during summer break, so you can bring your kids too. Bring the kids to see the bodies in the bags. This will be a good opportunity for your kids to learn about nature and have a valuable experience. The location... Oh, no! <laughs> the location of the project are the forest in the Takatsudo and Yagochi areas. I'm sure that's not a bad thing. Definitely won't be like, hey, this ground seems a little different. It seems a little bit softer. I wonder if someone buried some buried treasure. Hey, look, there's some garbage bags. Hey, look, there's rotting, like, liquid meat or something probably at this point. Gross. Anyway, that's where we'll leave off for today. I'm sure everything's going to go well and they're not going to have to, you know, cover up some more bodies or something. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time for some more Higurashi. Bye!